amateur. Jeez. Oof. Amateur mistake on my part. Oh. Just got finished filming beer in a chat yesterday. Go to edit it today to upload it. My mic wasn't plugged in. So now, unfortunately, I've got to drink another beer and talk to you guys again. Doesn't sound like such a bad thing, but I'm still mad I didn't get the footage. Ugh. What's up guys, welcome to Beer in a Chat. If you haven't been here before, we sit down, we drink a beer, we have a chat. If you have been here before, welcome back. Glad to see you again. Today, we're going for a Granville Island SoCal style IPA. Not too sure if you're interested in that or not, but we're drinking a beer and it's an IPA from Vancouver imitating California. Frothy. Not bad. Guys, it is February 1st today. You know what that means? One month. One month has gone by. That is almost 10 per, oh. That is 8.3 repeater percent of the year. Complete. Oof. Done. Gone. What have you accomplished? What have I accomplished? Not much. Well, I have, but I wish I could complete more. But seriously, one month gone. Time flies. It's ridiculous. Think about that. How fast does time go by? How, how many opportunities have you let slip by? Because time goes too fast. I honestly think as a creator, as a content creator, a social media person, an artist, you need to work like super hard to pump out the content, to pump out your, your art, your, your medium, whatever it is, you need to work super hard just to get it out there to keep up with these times because people are working so fast around the clock. There's so many people out there who are just pumping out the stuff and to compete with it, you gotta keep up and you gotta do the same. Now that sort of lifestyle has certainly been glorified on YouTube over the last couple years. Like you gotta work hard, you gotta be up at 4 a.m., go to bed at midnight, get only a couple hours sleep, yeah, go, go. No, you gotta take care of yourself, number one thing. But yes, you do gotta work hard. You gotta take advantage of every extra minute you have. If you're not working towards your craft, you're kind of wasting your own time, almost. You, you still gotta take care of yourself. There, there's a balance, you know, there's quality and quantity within your life and within your content. And I think that's super important. And also pumping out the content, you really gotta find that quality versus quantity kind of balance. You know, should I put out one amazing video a week or should I put out daily vlogs that are just kind of subpar but I'm getting stuff out there and, and working and doing it. Like, you know, that's finding that balance. It's, it's a big deal. And especially in 2019, like think how far YouTube has come. How far is it gonna go? Like YouTube is, is, a, is a baby still. It's a baby. It's gonna evolve every year and it's only gonna get more and more insane. Like the KSI versus the Paul fight or whatever, that was like the first of its kind. And the numbers it drew in, mind blowing. People couldn't even conceive it. That's There's gonna be more events like that and it's only gonna give birth to more and more things on the platform, which is, whew, it's a lot to think about and it's gonna make my head spin, honestly. But where will YouTube be in 10 years? Where will you be in 10 years? Where will I be in 10 years? If you want to get to where you got to be, you got to work those 10 years. I mean, it's pretty simple. If you think about school or working out, anything like that, you got to put the time in to get to where you want to be. And a lot of people, when they're becoming up and coming artists or whatever, they want instant success. Next year, I'm going to be making six figures and I'm going to be like so famous on YouTube. It, it, the reality is that is super rare for anyone to get that. You gotta work hard, you gotta nose to the grind, just like getting a degree. You're gonna be out there a few years before you get any traction. You gotta go get your degree before you can apply for a job, and even then you gotta get experience in the field to start making the money. It's gonna be the same thing. YouTube, you're gonna have to work your butt off for like five plus years at least to really get any traction. People just don't seem to get it. So are you gonna stick to your, your goals? Your, your art for the next 10 years? Where, where would you be in 10 years if you nose to the grind, pumped out your stuff, and kept it up for 10 years? Think about that. Where would you be? You could literally be the next Casey Neistat. You could be whatever you wanted to be if you put in the effort, over time, of course. But if you put in that effort, you could do whatever you wanted to be. Crazy to think how literally your entire life sits in your own hand, but people are always too lazy to do anything with it just because they want it now, not later. Damn, it's almost a shame. It's a waste. But I mean, it is what it is. People, people want instant success these days. They want instant gratification. I mean, if I want to talk to someone, I don't have to send a letter and wait like five to seven days. It's, hey, what's up? And someone over on the other side of the world is like, dude, leave me alone. I'm sleeping. Fuck off. I got to work in the morning. You get my point? Like it's instant. There's none of this waiting anymore. But to be successful, you gotta wait, well, not wait. You gotta be patient. There we go. You gotta be patient and work for it. Yeah. 
I'm not sure if I'm digging this beer or not, to be honest. It's a weird taste, I can't put my finger on it. Maybe it's the grapefruit that's not, that I'm not digging? Hmm, it might be the grapefruit, I don't know. It's not bad, but I'm not gonna buy it again, that's for sure. So 10 years, guys, where do you wanna be? Leave me a comment down below. I wanna hear your story, where you are, where you plan to go, and if you're gonna stick to it in 10 years. If you're doing it for fun, cool, but if you're actually trying to progress, where are you gonna be in 10 years? Do you think that in those 10 years, if you work hard enough, that you can make it? I guess we'll see in 10 years. Maybe I'll have to look back at this video in 10 years and, and see what I wanted to do, which is videography and online content creating. So, yeah, I think 10 years, I think I could do it. Hmm. Well, thanks for stopping by, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your faces, and I will see you guys next time. So, cheers.